and from Bunny's name, I, Dr. Harfan, going to present Gabby's theory, cognitive development in children. So, uh, who was Jean Piaget? Actually, he was a Swiss psychologist who is very well known for uh, his work on child development. He worked on the cognitive development of children and uh, he laid great importance on the education of the children. His lifespan was uh, 1896 to 1980. Here, main four key words are uh, in this philosophy of uh, Yaji cognition, schema, assimilation, and accommodation. So we have to understand all the keywords very well. What is cognition? Cognition is the process of acquiring knowledge and understanding through thinking, experiencing, and by using our sense organs. So when we use our sense organs and we experience different type of experiences and then we think about those experiences and we try to understand the whole world and uh, of course from those experiences and from all the knowledge which we acquired by understanding the world this is called the cognition so cognition is the mental process of acquiring knowledge and understanding through thought experience and the senses Cognitive processes use existing knowledge. Existing knowledge means the knowledge which we have already have. Preconceived notions, preconceived ideas about something. And when with the passage of time, we go on acquiring different type of new experiences, of course, new knowledge will be generated. This was the main uh, theory of the he considered that cognition development is done by the children automatically when they interact with others, when they uh, use their senses and they try to acquire the knowledge. So uh, what is cognition? Cognition is the process when the wheels of thinking are in motion. Of course, when we go on thinking about something, then we uh, when we perceiving something when we trying to know about something and then we start thinking logically with the reasoning why is this happening so we can say thinking is uh, cognition is thinking process when thinking process is in motion cognition is the intellectual process through which we try to acquire the information we obtain information with our senses, with our thinking skills, we try to obtain information and of course, according to our needs, we try to transform that information. Which information? That is stored in our brain. So we want to use the information whenever we need to use that information. So we can say cognition is cognition's basic unit is concept. Uh, definition of cognition again, actually information is obtained, transform, transformed, stored, retrieved, used. How we obtain information? We perceive information. Perception depends on mainly two things, two activities uh, on our vision and on our auditory skills. So we perceive things with our sense organs, ears and uh, eyes. Uh, then we try to memorize the uh, memorize the information and we start thinking about that. Of course, we need language to understand about the whole information and knowledge around us. So this is the main. Uh, these are the main words which are included in cognition. So what does Syaji say? Cognitive development describes how these mental processes develop from birth until adulthood. Actually, uh, Piaget has given four main stages uh, from birth till adulthood. Uh, those stages we will discuss after uh, this slide. So the acquisition of the ability to think, reason and so problem solve. When the children 
gain ability to think of course when child takes birth from the very uh, day of his or her birth the child go on thinking they try to after some time they their reasoning ability develops and of course after some time they try to solve the problems so thinking ability reasoning ability problem solving ability these are acquired by the children it is the process by which people's thinking changes across the lifespan of course when people will have different type of experiences they will have uh, they will try to think about uh, uh, differently from their own point of views of course their lifespan uh, will change of course their thinking will change automatically cognitive development is gradually orderly changes by which mental process become more complex and sophisticated so uh, cognitive development jo hai oh gradually ek order de vich chaldi hai aur jive jive sadi life complex ho jandi hai ya sophisticacy sadi life de vich aayi jandi hai ne ose tarike de naal hi sade cognitive development hai jehdi oh base karti hai so agar assi simple words de vich ek kehna hove ki cognitive development hai jehdi oh main hai ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਨੌਲੇਜ ਨੂੰ ਐਕੁਆਇਰ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਟਰਾਈ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਆਫ ਕੋਰਸ ਅਸੀਂ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੇ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸਸ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਔਰ ਸੈਂਸਸ ਨੂੰ ਯੂਜ਼ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਔਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਸੈਂਸਸ ਨੂੰ ਯੂਜ਼ ਕਰਕੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸਸ ਨੂੰ ਯੂਜ਼ ਕਰਕੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਾਡੀ ਥਿੰਕਿੰਗ ਐਬਿਲਟੀ ਡਿਵੈਲਪ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਹਰ ਚੀਜ਼ ਨੂੰ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਐਂਗਲਸ ਤੋਂ ਦੇਖਣਾ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਔਰ ਆਫ ਕੋਰਸ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਸਾਡਾ ਲਾਈਫ ਸਟਾਈਲ ਚੇਂਜ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਜਾਏਗਾ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਐਜ਼ ਅ ਚਾਈਲਡ ਯੂਅਰ ਪ੍ਰਾਇਰਟੀਜ਼ ਮੇ ਬੀ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ but when you become a parent then your priorities uh, then your priorities will be different so jo sada life span jive jive change hunda rehnda ha people's thinking also change automatically what are the main assumptions uh, of piaje about children he says children construct their own knowledge in response to their experiences according to piaje which type of experiences the children do in their lives of course they try to construct their own knowledge so that's why all the children have different experiences in their life that's why all the children have different type of knowledge as they have different type of experiences jime bachiyan di zindagi de vich alag alag tarah de tajrube ne ose tarike de naal hi ohna di jo knowledge oh construct karde ne that is also different children learn many things on their own without the intervention of older children or adults uh it is said that children try to learn automatically whether their parents make them to learn things or not so bacche apne aap hi unna de vich learning ability develop ho jandi hai aur oh apne level te they try to learn all the things on in their own ways A children are intrinsically motivated to learn and do not need rewards from adults to motivate learning ek stage de upar ja ke tusi dekhde honge ki we have to provide some type of uh, uh, external motivation to our children uh, but when they are uh, children and uh, of course here during this stage they are very much motivated and of course without uh demanding any type of rewards they go on learning or is stage de utte bacche ne jehde oh zaruri nahi hai they don't get exhausted or oh inne creative hunde ne ki they uh, want to uh, learn all the things by themselves here is given piaget's theory of cognitive development look these are the stages and this is the cognitive process so according to piaget cognitive development depends on the stages which are four stages these are the four stages sensory motor pre operational concrete operational and formal operation formal operational stage and cognitive process which are the main words which are the stages included in this schema assimilation accommodation and equilibration now we will go to all this type this flow chart uh, in detail actually all the philosophy of piaget theory depends on all these uh, eight words stages four and cognitive process four words then stages 
stages are four sensory motor uh, zero to two years pre-operational two to seven years concrete operational seven to twelve and formal operation 12 years onwards we will uh, discuss uh, later on then which are the main key concepts schema first is schema schema means uh, preconceived ideas in one's mind like uh, जो छोटा बच्चा है वो उसनों ये लगता है कि जो उसकी जिमे उसका वो फीड लेंदा अपनी मदर दी और तुसी देखोंगे कि बिल्कुल इनिशियल स्टेज पे जो भी उसमें चीज मिल रही है जो भी चाय है कुछ भी है वो उसमें मुंह दे विच पाउंड ले ट्राई करता है सो प्री कंसीव्ड आइडिया है उसका कि उसने हर चीज उसने अपनी मदर दी अब दे मतलब जो मदर तो फीड लेंदा बच्चा उस करके उसका इन्ना की ब्रेन हले डेवलप है और स्कीमा है स्कीमा इज एन इंटरनल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द वर्ड व्हेन वी गो ऑन थिंकिंग अबाउट द वर्ड इंटरनली लुक हियर इज द एग्जांपल गिवन क्रिसमस सपोज व्हेन वी डिस्कस अबाउट क्रिसमस समवन विल थिंक दैट क्रिसमस जो ही असि क्रिसमस की गल करते हैं तो माइंड किसी किसी पर्टिकुलर परसन से की आएगा कि क्रिसमस ट्रीज हो गए सेंटा क्लॉस होएगा मनी होएगा ग्रीन रेड गोल्ड विंटर सेंटा क्लॉस मीनस दीज आर द वर्ड्स विच आर रिलेटिड टू क्रिसमस सो किसी के माइंड ये वर्ड्स हो सकते हैं बट समवन विल हैव एंटायरली डिफरेंट स्टीम जिमें जीजस बर्थ चर्च holiday christianity so to see take the only if we have different type of experiences in life that's why our schema is also different so if i think in a different way in a particular way i don't expect that others will think in a similar way maybe they are thinking differently so here is given example of assimilation assimilation means it is using an existing schema existing schema means the child uh, the learner fits the new idea into what he already knows during this phase in assimilation the schema is not changed it is only modified completely we don't change but it is only modified look here uh, when a child sees a person who is not having hair on his head and uh, long frizzy hair on the sides of course maybe he, the child can shout the toddler the toddler smaller one child he can shout clown 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 so maybe he has assumed his schema is assimilation is that he has seen somewhere clown in tv and he thinks that this person is also clown why because he is not having here on his set now what is accommodation accommodation means here we alter the schema a new schema will develop accommodate suppose in the clown instant when the father listen that the child the toddler is shouting clown 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 so maybe the father will make father will try to explain to his son that the man is not a clown even though his hair was like a clown's but he is not doing any silly things to make people laugh and he is not wearing a funny costume so here with the help of his father with the explanation of his father the child has understood that clown has not only characteristic of his hair but any person who makes people laugh and a funny costume is also a characteristic of clown so here the new schema is developed and this is the phase of accommodation here uh, i have uh, taken a very simple example here is a child child calls her four legged pet the pet is uh, in the home of a girl child and the girl calls her pet doggy suppose she sees a cow 
and this is a four legged animal but the girl has never seen before the cow what will he what will he uh, what will she think in her mind maybe she will take this cow as a doggy she will start shouting doggy doggy but this is a simulation a simulation means that the girl when she sees a cow for the first time she will assimilate it to her schema of doggy her schema of doggy means she has preconceived notion that any four legged animal is called doggy but here the mother tells that no baby she is not a doggy it is not a doggy it is a cow so here the mother has given her information that this is cow she is uh, it is larger than doggy and the all four legged animals are not doggy so now you will see this is the phase of assimilation and this is the phase of accommodation where the girl child has understood that all four legged animals cannot be called doggies so this is the accommodation now what is equilibration equilibration piaget believed that cognitive development did not progress at a steady rate uh, it will develop in leaps and bounds so equilibrium means that when a child schema can deal with most new information through assimilation bachcha hai jo usno jive jive navi information milti jayegi oh he or she will try to accommodate that knowledge jo bhi uski progress hui so it is important to maintain a balance between applying previous knowledge previous knowledge assimilation and changing behavior to account for new knowledge accommodation so there will be a proper balance between assimilation and accommodation that's why we can say that this is the phase of equilibrium where the child learns to use his or her previous knowledge to account to acquire the new knowledge here are given the uh, stages of piaget so number one is sensory sensory motor stage sensory motor stage is piaget's uh, first stage of theory of child development it starts with zero uh, means uh, when the child when the infant takes birth and it lasts through age 2 this is the phase of thumb sucking kicking smiling cooing and during this period infants will learn about the world they will uh, here this is the phase where the child uses his sensory senses and motor skills so the child tries to the infant tries to use it his or her senses to interact with surroundings they like to touch things lick things bang them together simple games will be enjoyed by the children during this stage they turn and look when they hear something or uh, they try to recognize certain words and respond to them they say a few words or imitate other so ase ye keh sakte hain ki a stage de vich sab to pehla ਰਿਫਲੈਕਸਸ ਦੀ ਸਟੇਜ ਹੈ ਜਿਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੱਚਾ ਅੰਗੂਠਾ ਚੁੰਗਦਾ ਹੈ ਅੰਗੂਠਾ ਚੁੰਗਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੇ ਮਦਰ ਦੇ ਨਿਪਲ ਵਾਲੀ ਫੀਲਿੰਗ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਉਹ ਉਸ ਬੱਚੇ ਥੰਬ ਸਕਿੰਗ ਚੋਂ ਲੈਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਨੂੰ ਕਿੱਕ ਕਰਨਾ ਸਮਾਈਲ ਕਰਨਾ ਕੋਈ ਨਾ ਔਰ ਜਸਟ ਹੈ ਡਿਊਰਿੰਗ ਫਰਸਟ ਮੰਥ ਆਫ ਬਰਥ ਆਫ ਦ ਚਾਈਲਡ ਇਹ ਫੇਜ਼ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਔਰ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਹੌਲੀ ਹੌਲੀ ਬੱਚਾ ਆਪਣੇ ਸੈਂਸਸ ਨੂੰ ਯੂਜ਼ ਕਰਦਾ ਔਰ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਟੱਚ ਕਰਨਾ ਮੂੰਹ ਚ ਪਾਉਣਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਬਾਰੀ ਬਾਰੀ ਮਾਰਨਾ ਖੇਲਣਾ ਜਿੱਧਰ ਜਿੱਧਰ ਨੂੰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਾਓਗੇ ਜਿੱਧਰ ਜਿੱਧਰ ਵੀ ਕੋਈ ਬੱਚੇ ਨੂੰ ਆਵਾਜ਼ ਆਉਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਬੱਚਾ ਉਧਰ ਉਧਰ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਣਾ ਸਿਰ ਮੋੜਦਾ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਦਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਸਟੇਜ ਵੇਅਰ ਦ ਚਾਈਲਡ ਟ੍ਰਾਈਸ ਟੂ ਲਰਨ ਇਮੀਟੇਟ ਅਦਰਸ 4 ਟੂ 8 ਮੰਥਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੱਚਾ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਉਹ ਕੀ ਕਰੇਗਾ ਇਸ ਸਟੇਜ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਐਕਸੀਡੈਂਟਲੀ ਮੇਬੀ ਚਾਈਲਡ ਨੇ ਕੁਝ ਨਵੀਂ ਚੀਜ਼ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸ ਕੀਤੀ ਔਰ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਬੜਾ ਮਜ਼ਾ ਆਇਆ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖੋਗੇ ਕਿ then the child will try to continue those activities again and again so uh, during this phase the 
little one will begin to use objects to learn about the world. Here, objects are the main concern. Objects, things are the main concern. Children use their personal experience to develop their own knowledge about the world. Different type of experiences will be faced by different children, of course. Their personal experiences will be different or the change they will have their personal experiences according to the world. And children will be motivated to They are internally motivated to learn few things. So they learn and uh, they understand and respond to simple directions or questions. You give them some directions, bring me and that glass, open the door, shut the window, and they will try to obey your commands. And of course, they will uh, try to listen short stories if you go on telling them some short stories. And uh, of course, they will try to repeat words or actions from previous days. Suppose a child has learned how to say, mom, mom, papa. And of course, the child will try to repeat those words uh, again and again daily they will try to learn new words and then go on to repeating those words will be their regular routine. Object permanence during this phase uh, this is the main term object permanence. Uh, in the starting months the child is not uh, conscious of object permanence means uh, ਜਦੋਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਸ ਬੱਚੇ ਤੋਂ ਕੋਈ ਚੀਜ਼ ਲਪੋ ਦਿੰਨੇ ਹੋ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਕਹਿ ਦਿੰਨੇ ਹੋ ਕਿ ਮੀਨਸ ਆਪਣੇ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਪਿੱਲੋ ਦੇ ਨੀਚੇ ਰੱਖ ਕੇ ਤਾਂ ਬੱਚਾ ਫਿਰ ਉਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਨੂੰ ਭੁੱਲ ਹੀ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਦੈਟ ਥਿੰਗ ਵਾਸ ਐਕਸਿਸਟਿੰਗ ਔਰ ਨਾਟ ਸੋ ਇਸ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਬੱਚਾ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਆਬਜੈਕਟ ਪਰਮਾਨੈਂਸ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਨੋਲੇਜ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਬਟ ਆਫਟਰ ਸਮ ਟਾਈਮ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਸੀ ਦੈਟ ਦ ਚਿਲਡਰਨ ਬਿਕਮ ਅਵੇਅਰ ਆਫ ਆਬਜੈਕਟ ਪਰਮਾਨੈਂਸ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਚੂਜ਼ਨ ਦਿਸ ਪਿਕਚਰ here you are seeing that uh, the mother is showing the rattle to the child and now she has concealed she has hidden the rattle under a cloth under a bed sheet or uh, under a mat and here you will see that uh, the child is not trying to find out rattle because he thinks that rattle is no more but after object permanence after some months the child becomes aware of things they think things are existing if they are not in the sight of the children uh, here the mother is showing the rattle and here she has hidden and look here the child is trying to find out the rattle so we can say the child becomes aware that things exist whether they are out of sight of the children. Object permanent also involves the knowledge that parents still exist when they temporarily leave the room. So when the children understand that you will come again after some time, they become aware that their parents are always in home. They will return to their home. So this is the phase of object permanence. Look here, object permanence, realizing that objects in environment exist, whether the baby perceives them or not. Out of sight, out of mind. Out of sight, out of mind means, when the child does not see anything, then they feel that the child exists. But object permanence, the child has no idea that the child has no idea that the child exists. And the child has no idea that the child exists. Pre-operational stage. Second stage is pre-operational stage. It is two to seven years operational uh, stage. You see that this is the stage of logic. Here the students uh, think about, start thinking logically about something. And uh, it is two to seven years. During this stage, the child begins to develop ability to represent objects with images and words. So the children can draw some figures, they can imagine some things and they can write down some words which, uh, like your children, your children can make birthday cards for you. They can invite you for the birthday party. So 
they can make their birthday invitations to and they can make birthday wishes for you too and uh, of course language skills uh, are developed during this phase and here their imagination power becomes very strong so children imitate others they uh, during this period 2 to 7 they play different type of games they play with their toys as they are real ones suppose a child has a car and look at the child the child tries to open the windows of the car and of course he and she enjoys the car very well and of course during this phase the girls can make dolls and they can think that these dolls are real fun so pre operational stages pre operational stages here the children learn to simple sums simple addition but they cannot make uh, concepts very clear for them all men are all men are daddy all women are mummy and all toys are theirs so during this phase uh, you have uh, seen so many children that if you ask during this phase ke whom do you marry then the child will try to give the answer the girl will she uh, the girl will try to give the answer that she will marry her father and of course if you ask the uh, boy the boy will prefer his mom so we can say here the children are uh not very clear about the concepts so during this stage they have object permanence they know that all things exist while they are not in their sight here they use language to represent objects means they use words to express their feelings and egocentric egocentric means okay here during this phase the children are very egocentric they don't think about others they don't try to see words from through anyone's eyes but if they want something they want something they will never try to understand the feelings of others so here the children do not understand concepts of conservation too pre operational stage 2 to 7 years uh, during this stage uh, the children start thinking logically but their logic is uh, rudimentary or we can say they can do simple uh, sums of arithmetic here are two stages pre conceptual and intuitive pre conceptual means 2 to 4 years here during this stage symbolic activity will dominate the children symbolic activity means ke according to uh, children uh, they can become mummy and daddy and they will try to imitate as the mother speaks as the father speaks and of course they can make their toys to sleep and uh, of course they think that they are the real ones so is jagah te utte bachcha hai jo oh symbolic uh, activities bahut karta hai और लैंग्वेज भी इस जगह दे उत्ते बच्चे दे इस फेज दे उत्ते लैंग्वेज है जेडी वो डेवलप होने शुरू हो जाती है इंट्यूटिव स्टेज इंट्यूटिव स्टेज दे व्हिच की हुंदा के ड्यूरिंग दिस स्टेज चिल्ड्रन बेस देयर नॉलेज ऑन व्हाट दे फील और सेंस टू बी ट्रू दे कैन नॉट एक्सप्लेन द अंडरलाइंग प्रिंसिपल जो भी ओना नो फील हुंदा है जो भी ओहो सेंस कर दे ने अकॉर्डिंग टू देम ओनली दोस थिंग्स आर ट्रू जो ओना नो nay this ra means here during this phase they cannot understand the feelings of others they only prefer to the feelings of themselves so here are the key features egocentrism animism centration egocentrism means ke here uh, they cannot see the world through anyone's else eye egocentric uh, egocentric child assumes that other people also see hear and feel exactly they feel जो उन्होंने चंगा लगता है जो जिमें भी उन्होंने सुनता है उन्होंने लगता है कि सारी दुनिया में ही फील हो रहा है एनिमिज्म एनिमिज्म मींस 
ਇੱਥੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਨੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਉਹ ਜੋ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਲਿਵਿੰਗ ਵਨਸ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਡਾਲਸ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਅਜ਼ਿਊਮ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਰੀਅਲ ਵਨਸ ਔਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਡ੍ਰੈਸ ਅਪ ਕਰਨਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਖਾਣਾ ਖਲਾਉਣਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਲਾਉਣਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਨਹਿਲਾਉਣਾ ਇਹ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਐਵੇਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਮਝੀਆਂ ਸੈਂਟਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਬੱਚੇ ਦੀ ਜੋ ਟੈਂਡੈਂਸੀ ਹੈ ਟੂ ਫੋਕਸ ਔਨ ਓਨਲੀ ਵਨ ਐਸਪੈਕਟ ਆਫ ਅ ਸਿਚੁਏਸ਼ਨ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ ਔਰ ਆਬਜੈਕਟ ਇੱਥੇ ਬੱਚਾ ਬ੍ਰਾਡ ਮਾਈਂਡਡ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਉਹ ਕੀ ਕਰਦਾ ਦੇਖੋ ਸੈਂਟਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਦੀ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਸਪੋਜ਼ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਪਾਸ ਕੇਕ ਹੈ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਡਿਵਾਈਡ ਦਿਸ ਕੇਕ ਇਨ ਟੂ ਪਾਰਟਸ ਸੋ ਮੇਬੀ ਵਨ ਪਾਰਟ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਕਟ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਬਿਗਰ ਵਨ ਐਂਡ ਅਨਦਰ ਇਜ਼ ਸਮਾਲਰ ਵਨ ਬਟ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਕਟ ਦ ਪੀਸਸ ਆਫ ਦ ਸਮਾਲਰ ਕੇਕ ਇਨ 5 pieces so you will see that the children the child during this age during the stage will try to pick more pieces of cake regardless of the size of the pieces chahe asi is piece ode chote karte par bachche nu lagega ki zyada ne is karke of course the children during the stage will pick that plate in which the pieces of cake are more in the plate symbols in art work here look at this ਇਸ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਨੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆਪਣੀ ਮੈਂਟਲ ਰਿਪਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਟਰਾਈ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਲੋ ਚਾਹੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਡਰਾਇੰਗ ਬਹੁਤ ਅੱਛੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਇਸ ਸਟੇਜ ਤੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਪਰ ਇਹ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਦੇਖੋ ਮਮ ਇਹ ਡੈਡ ਕਿਸ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਨਾਲ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਪਿਕਚਰਸ ਬਣਾਉਣੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਬੱਚੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਜੋ ਵੀ ਫੀਲਿੰਗਸ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਟਰਾਈ ਟੂ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਹੈਲਪ ਆਫ ਇਮੇਜਸ so pre operational children increasing ability to use mental representation mental representation means jive we assume kar rahe ne apne mind de vich they will try to create things according to their mental representation pre tan play bachche ne jehde oh imagination karde ne oh police police khelde ya aur real sons de vich girls ne teachers teachers khelde ya ne aur tusi dekhoge ki oh ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਦਿੱਤੋ ਹੀ ਡਾਇਲੌਗਸ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਸਕੂਲ ਸਕੂਲ ਖੇਡਣਾ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਬਣਨਾ ਮਤਲਬ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੀਟੈਂਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਦਾ ਰੀਅਲ ਪੀਪਲ ਦੈਨ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਸੇ ਹੀਅਰ ਦ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਇਜ਼ ਗਿਵਨ ਥੈਟ ਦੇ ਕੈਨ ਯੂਜ਼ ਬਨਾਨਾ ਐਜ਼ ਅ ਟੈਲੀਫੋਨ ਐਂਡ ਆਰਟੀਫੀਸ਼ੀਅਲਿਜ਼ਮ ਆਰਟੀਫੀਸ਼ੀਅਲਿਜ਼ਮ ਮੀਨਸ ਹੀਅਰ ਦੇ don't believe in the reality of things actually uh, they think that we can use a ladder to reach the sky the sky the clouds are blue and of course blue color is painted by someone so according to children during this stage that all things are manufactured by people they don't understand the philosophical ideas behind all the realities irreversibility means here the student sorry here the children uh, don't have ability to reverse their thinking means they can do 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 but maybe they cannot understand that 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 because they don't know how to reverse the thinking stage 3 is cognitive uh, concrete operational stage it this stage starts with 7 years and uh, up to 12 years during this stage the children begin to develop ability to sort things here they have learned the art of sorting objects because their logic has developed and they can uh, classify all the objects very well and here the children can learn the conservation means here they understood the conservation so concrete operational stage concrete operational stage the which key hai he here the child knows that something that he can add he can also subtract or he she can trace a route to school and then follow it back home or picture where she has left a toy with the haphazard exploration of the entire house 
So here the child can understand all things very concretely. During this stage, the child can do mathematical operations as well. Operations are labeled concrete because they apply only to those objects that are physically present. Here, children learn to conserve such quantities as number, substance, area, weight, and volume, though they may not achieve all concepts at the same time. This is the same thing. The child has a lot of concepts in mind. But it's not necessary that all the concepts are changed in the same way. So, if the child is not necessary, the child is not necessary to understand the same way. The child is not necessary to understand the same way. The child is not necessary to understand the same way. The child is not necessary to understand the same way. But the child is not necessary to understand the same way. The child is not necessary to understand the same way. So, uh, conservation, understanding that something says the same in quantity even though its appearance is changed. Here, the children can understand during this phase that if the water is, same volume of water is poured in two different type of uh, shapes of containers, so the children can learn that the level of water is same. Here, they will not get confused. So classification here the children can learn to classify things. ये सुना ना पता है कि ये अह ये word किथे आएगा? So वो pick the odd ones ऐसे classifications में कर दिया कोई भी problems categories they are very they are very well aware of the classification. Variation इतने बच्चे आनो height weight सारी यहाँ चीज़ा हमारे चंगी पुना पता चल जाएगा मतलब वो series uh, the concrete development had that is developed very well. Last one is formal operational stage. It is 12 plus years. Here the abstract reasoning takes place. Uh, here, according to Jean Piaget, uh, the children start thinking how reality compares to ideas. Now, the children have some ideals in their mind. They have formed their own philosophy. And of course, they choose different choices and they know very well about the consequences of their choices too. And here, they can understand their ideas and of course, the reasoning of others too. And here, during this phase, when the child is 12 plus, they can debate on matters of justice, meaning of life, human nature. So here, you cannot make fool of any children. Here, their own philosophy, their own understanding level has been developed. So during this phase, the child is able to manipulate the world in their own mind. Uh, during this stage, different type of uh, questions come in their mind or we can say different type of characteristics are of formal operational stage. What would the world look like with no light here? Look, uh, we start thinking differently. They try to imagine which type of uh, God is. Means that they are God no picturized that they are. But where do you guess that? Here the children learns to understand the whole world with his own mind. So abstract reasoning develop in the air. Or manipulate objects in our minds without seeing them. Even as he sariyan chiza no jen nahi bhi dekh rahe then we see things no objects no manipulate kar sa. Uh, hypothesis testing, jo bhi asi assume kita, then we try to test those things. Trial and error, we try first of all and then of course we can commit different type of errors during our trials and then we can try to amend those activities. So during this phase, uh, the children do trial and error. Metacognition means here the children learn about their way of thinking. They think how they think. 
so this is the metacognition means here the children's uh, thinking level has developed or we can say every adult do not reach to this stage so maybe the some of us do not enter in formal operational stage so this is the formal operational stage characteristics of formal operational thought adolescents think more abstractly than children har cheez nu algebra nu karna equations nu kisi bhi cheez nu abstract way na solve karna idealistic kis tarike na hovange assi ke assi dusre logan nu samjhna apne aap nu samjhna puri world nu samjhna so but can be possible here during this stage the children can think the children during this stage may be logical they think like scientists they devise plans to solve their problem systematically they try to test the solutions of course they try to understand all the things logically so i have taken the help of some slide shares thank you so much i hope you have understood the topic very well if you have any type of queries then you can contact me in group thank you